Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. Today we're going to take a look at this high-performance laptop from Lenovo. It's the ThinkPad T15G. This is a pretty cumbersome laptop, so I'd really call it more of a mobile workstation since it's six pounds, but it is super powerful and that's why it's so big. It's offered in a Core i5, i7, i9, or W Series Xeon processor. It offers four slots of DDR4 memory, up to 128 gigabytes total, and actually supports ECC RAM, which I don't know that I've ever used a laptop that does that. Uh, it does come with a 170 or 230 watt power adapter. This one's 230, which is quite large and cumbersome as well. And it is the Lenovo Slim Tip power adapter, not Type C, because it needs so much wattage. It does have two M2 NVMe X4 PCIe slots for hard drives, and those support RAID 0 and 1, which is really neat as well. It has integrated mobile 4G with a nano SIM, but unfortunately no 5G option. The video card options for this are pretty impressive as well. It offers two different NVIDIA RTX graphics cards, the 2070 and 2080. Both are eight gigabytes with the Super Max Q design. The craziest thing about this laptop is it has five monitor support, the internal screen plus four external monitors without a docking station. That's really impressive. Uh, most of them are 4K at 60 Hz capable, the HDMI, USB Type-C, and one of the Thunderbolt ports. But the other Thunderbolt can do 5K at 60 Hz, which is quite impressive from you know, graphics that are built into a laptop. This PC has an Intel Core i7-10750H 6-core processor, 2.6 GHz base, 5 GHz turbo, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 8GB graphics. 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 512 gigabyte NVMe 3.0 X4 SSD with Opal 2 security, 15.6 inch 1080p display, gigabit Ethernet, Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX201 with Bluetooth 5.1, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, two USB C 3.2 Gen 2 Thunderbolt 3 ports, LED backlit keyboard with track point, HDMI 2.0 an SD card reader, 720p webcam with Think Shutter, dual mic array, fingerprint reader, TPM 2.0, Windows 10 Pro 64-bit, and weighs about 6 pounds. The webcam's at the top of the screen with Think Shutter and dual mic array. Here's the power button and speakers, full-size keyboard with numpad, track point with clicky buttons, and a fingerprint reader. On the left side is the HDMI, USB Type-A, SIM card location, and a headset jack. On the back is the Lenovo Slim Tip power jack, two Thunderbolt ports, USB Type-C, and Ethernet. On the right side is the Kensington lock, USB Type-A, and card reader. There are four memory slots on this computer. Two can be accessed by removing this screw and going inside of this door where there are two empty slots from the factory. To get to the other two, you have to remove the keyboard. You can start by removing or backing out these two screws. They are retained. Flip the computer over, open it up, and then you can slide this whole keyboard assembly backwards until these uh, clips are exposed. Then using a spudger or a device, you can lift it up and pull it out. Now you have to remove this screw to get the shield off. Once that screw and the shield are out, you can see there are two more memory slots only this top one was populated from the factory and we ordered a matching stick and putting the two up here did put it into dual channel mode. You can see inside of here there's also the Wi-Fi card location and where the wireless cellular card would go as well. To access the internals of the laptop you have to start by taking this door off. I already showed you the two RAM slots 
There are two NVMe slots back here as well. I do like how accessible that is. Next, you have to take the SIM card holder out and then all of the screws are on the edge, the two for the keyboard and this one. There are pop clips along the edges and this was extremely difficult to open without damaging anything. It really hung up on the hinges for the most part. There are two really good sized system fans with heat pipes. The CPU is located here and the GPU is actually a card which is here. So clearly they could swap it depending on if you pick the 2070 or the 2080 RTX video card. It even says GeForce right there on the heat sink or spreader. You know about the RAM slots in the NVMe. This is the main system battery and CMOS battery. I'm guessing this is the video connector to connect the video card to the main motherboard. And then there's a daughter board with the USB and card reader on it. The Passmark score for this PC is 4606, the 61st percentile. The CPU mark is 14147, the 73rd percentile. The 2D mark is a bit low in the 46th percentile, but the 3D mark is 12934, the 75th percentile. The memory mark is very good, 3310 in the 84th percentile. This is likely due to us upgrading the memory with two 16 gig modules so it operates in dual channel mode. The disk mark is 22510, the 91st percentile. Very good. As you've seen, this is a very high performance laptop and I'm super impressed with the Passmark score. That said, it is bigger and heavier, so if you don't need that performance, there are cheaper and smaller options. If you're a video editor, CAD, uh, doing any kind of graphic design or even audio editing, I think this thing's fabulous for all that. And the multi-monitor support that's built right in is second to none. I'll try to find a link to put in the description, but it's not widely available, so I'll see what I can do. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if there's anything you want to add that I didn't include, please put that in the comments as well. I'm always glad to learn something new. Thanks.